Deutschland kommen und muss sagen, den Frieden wollen wir. Aber diese ununterbrochene Entrückung lehnen wir ab. Und je näher uns, je klar wir nicht. Bei Diktaten wirken wir nicht mit. Sie mögen ein Diktat als Diktat und auch aufruieren. that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. войну освободительную, справедливую. Пусть в этой войне вдохновляет вас мужественный образ наших великих предков Александра Невского, Дмитрия Донского, Кузьминина, Дмитрия Пожарского, Александра Суворова, Михаила Бурдута. Пусть осенит вас непобедимое знамя великого лета. На полный разгром немецких захватчиков. Смерть немецким оккупантам. На здравствуй наша славная Родина. Где не свобода, где не зависимость. Вот с нами мы видим вперед победу.
soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. This is London. London calling in the home, overseas, and European services of the BBC and through United Nations Radio Mediterranean. And this is John Snag speaking. Supreme Headquarters, Allied Expedition Report, have just issued communique number one. And in a few seconds I will read it to you. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. Number one. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning on the northern coast of France. At 2.41 a.m. at General Eisenhower's headquarters, General Jodl, the representative of the German High Command and of Grand Admiral Dönitz, the designated head of the German state, signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Forces and simultaneously to the Soviet High Command. 